Next week, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene says she will bring her motion to remove Speaker Mike Johnson to the House floor. The Georgia Republican outlining her plan at a news conference this morning. She was joined by Kentucky Congressman Thomas Massey, one of the few lawmakers publicly backing Johnson's ouster. Let's be honest, we have Mike Johnson because nobody hated Mike Johnson, okay? Um, there was nothing in his prior life, or political or private, that qualified him for this job. He is a uh, lost ball in tall weeds. He is unequipped to negotiate with Chuck Schumer. And News Nation's Joe Khalil live on Capitol Hill. Joe, you have some new reaction from lawmakers. Yeah, we've been speaking to them and hearing basically the same thing we've been hearing for weeks now, which is there are a lot of Republicans who simply think that this is a bad idea. I cannot overstate how many Republicans, the vast majority, who don't agree that this is the right move, they think this is the wrong time for it, even those who may agree with Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and share some of the frustrations that she's expressed about Speaker Mike Johnson, even among that group, it's hard to find more than a handful of people who think this is a good idea. In fact, the two Republicans who now are standing by her, so far, that group has not expanded. It is just the three of them publicly who've come out forward and said they think this is a good idea. And so the big question is whether this is going to be successful. And for all the reasons I've just laid out, it seems unlikely at this point, not just the Republican side, but even as we've been reporting, there are a number of Democrats who've expressed some willingness to go to bat for Mike Johnson and support him. They say that, look, if his job is going to be on the line because he put Ukraine funding on the House floor and because he worked with Democrats to avoid a government shutdown, they think those were the right decisions to make. And so for that reason, you do have some Democrats who on the record have said they would support him in this motion to vacate uh, and vote that would help him keep his job. Now, here's what Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene said this morning in response to Democrats potentially coming to bat for the speaker. I can't wait to see Democrats go out and support a Republican speaker and have to go home to their primaries and have to run for Congress again, having supported a Republican speaker, a Christian conservative. As we've been talking about, Nicole, we've talked to a number of Republicans. This morning, I talked to Bob Good, who is a Republican that has expressed very serious concerns that he has about Speaker Mike Johnson. He was actually one of the people that voted to oust Kevin McCarthy as well. And he tells me, despite all of that, that he doesn't think this is the right decision on the part of Marjorie Taylor Greene. Here's what he said. Uh, so I don't think it's in President Trump's interest in trying to reelect him to, be, to uh, sort of throw the House into the, the turbulence that it does, and it does admittedly bring turbulence. Uh, and again, with a three-vote margin, it's much. It's simple math, and I keep repeating that. But that is that is finite. That's definitive. That's real. That's tangible. Makes it a much more difficult situation, especially when Democrats have said, "Hey, they want Speaker Johnson, and, and, and they'll defend him." Now, Green says that she's bringing this up next week. She's going to give her conference the weekend to think about their vote before it ultimately gets to it. And so even if we know the potential outcome, it's still unclear exactly how this is all going to go down in terms of the process of it. Uh, but that's where we stand now. Nicole, this is going to be brought up. All right. So, Joe, is Marjorie Taylor Greene giving any clues as to who she would like to potentially see replace Speaker Johnson? Yeah, that's the other big question, right, is if you do this successfully, big hypothetical there, what comes next? Who comes next? And she has not mentioned any specific name. Neither have Thomas Massey or uh, any other Republicans, actually. And uh, in fact, they've said they have a list in their heads, a couple people that they think might be qualified for this. But so far, they're not sharing any names at all. All right, Joe Khalil, live for us there in Washington. Joe, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.